The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I'm just chilling here at the park, at a local park, just uh, enjoying my nice little walk, setting up shop on this bench, so I can make these last two videos in, in this whole little walk that I'm doing, but wanted to talk about Joe Joyce because I feel like, you know, I, I made the video earlier. Um, I don't know if it's, it's going to come out before or after this one, but I made the video about uh, Daniel Dubois quitting because he quit in that fight against Joe Joyce, but he wouldn't have quit if Joe Joyce wasn't given us a reason to quit. And I, I was very impressed with Joe Joyce. You know, this is a guy that I, um, I've obviously made videos about. I know he's good. I know he has good pedigree. Um, but I feel like myself and a large chunk and a large percentage of the boxing world has o ha ha had overlooked this guy. We overlooked him when we we didn't really take him as seriously as seriously as we should have. And I feel like now we gotta take him seriously. And I think I think now it's fair to say, it's fair to say that Joe Joyce is a threat to anybody in the heavyweight division because now I mean look at his resume. Um, he's being some names that we he's being some names on the resume that we're familiar with. You know, uh, he had that fight with Brian Jennings. Uh, Brian Jennings, uh, you know, he beat Brian Jennings. And that Brian that Brian Jennings came to fight. That wasn't no bum Brian Jennings he fought. That was a good version of Brian Jennings that he fought. Uh, fought him. Fought. Um, you know, Bermain Stavern, who was past it, but still, still Bermain Stavern, you know, a decent body, a decent name in the heavyweight division, you know, and then the ultimate litmus test, the ultimate answer was him fighting a guy that was regarded as the best pro heavyweight prospect, not just in the UK, but in all of boxing in Daniel Dubois, and the better the fight, the, the, the better the opponent or the ability of the opponent got, the better Joe Joyce fought, we saw him display a world-class jab, we saw um, a bunch of durability on display. We saw a guy that, when he got taken to some deep, dark, and combo places, this is a guy who answered the bell. This is a guy that, that showed toughness. This is a guy that showed he had the, as the Brits would say and the Europeans would say, he had the minerals, he had the balls, the cojones, the huevos, to, to, to continue fighting as if nothing happened when things got tough for him, as Dubois was landing, you know, jab after jab and one, two after one, two, and a lead right hand. You know, he was landing all kinds of stuff on Joe Joyce, and Joe Joyce wasn't phased by it. Joe Joyce was composed. Joe Joyce was poised, and you know, I think in that fight it's fair to say like he looks like he looked in that fight against Dubois. He looked like everything that his that his amateur exploits and his amateur pedigree suggested that he is, and that's creme de la creme. That's top of the top. That's best of the best. That's a top shelf heavyweight contender, and that's what he is now. Um, and like a while ago, I remember I was watching a Tyson Fury interview and Tyson Fury said a long, long time ago that Joe Joyce is a serious threat in the heavyweight division, you know? And he is, you know, he's six foot seven. As we saw, he was bigger than Dubois. A lot of people don't, didn't even realize that. A lot of people thought that he was smaller than Dubois. No, he was bigger than Dubois and he was taller than Dubois. So he's a big guy. They don't call, he, he didn't just like create the, the juggernaut nickname. He earned that nickname. He's a big guy. He's a juggernaut of a man. He's tall and he's wide, okay? He's got great boxing skills when he has to use them. You know, we saw a guy throwing a jab very loosely and fluidly. Got great fluidity to his to his jab. Then we saw a guy with a, a granite chin. You know, he got hit by one by, by a guy on Dubois, who, in my humble opinion, might be one of the hardest punchers in all in, in, in all the heavyweight division. You know, in my opinion, he's one of the hardest punchers in the heavyweight division. He's not gonna fight too many guys in the heavyweight division that punch as hard as Daniel Dubois. And um. He was able to answer the bell. He was able to show that, hey, um, I'm a serious threat in this heavyweight division. So, like, now I'm looking at Joe Joe. Like, this fight is... Th fights like this are reasons why I love boxing because the perception... Or the, 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 there's a train in the background. Shout, shout out to the tri -rail. But the perception of what Joe Joyce and Daniel Dubois were going into that fight is now so different than how we're going to look at them going forward after the fight because one guy... Failed to answer questions in Dubois, and he quit the first time he got punched in his mouth in the professional ranks. And one guy, um, one guy answered the bell and showed us that hey, there's a, there's a, there's a lot there's a lot in here that you guys don't see, along with some good things here and here that you guys do see. But I have a lot of this, and he's got a lot of this, and he's got a lot of you know cojones, and um, you know I think Joe Joyce is going to be somebody to, to be to be, be reckoned with. Now let, let let's talk about. What could potentially be Joe Joyce's future heavyweight options? He called out Usyk. That would obviously be a, a really good fight because Usyk is a guy that Joe Joyce fought in the World Series of Boxing. So 
it'd be an interesting rematch, so to speak. You know, I love that fight. I think we get a chance to see uh, Joe Joyce and his ability to cut off the ring. Um, tested in that fight because Usyk's a very, you know, very fast guy, light on his feet, moves very great for the weight class, you know. For any weight class, really, he moves very well. So, um, you know, Usyk's a good fight that will really put his boxing skills on display. You know, you have... Um, my main man, 50 grand, you know, El Animo, one of South Florida's ver uh, adopted very own by way of Croatia, Philip Hergovic, and that would be an amazing fight because Hergovic still hasn't had his Daniel Dubois fight yet. He hasn't had that, that, that true step up fight yet. And we're, we're, we're impatiently, because I, I want to see Hergovic get, get, get that step, step up and see what, how good he really is. You know, we're, we're impatiently waiting for Hergovic to step up, but that's, that, that could be another op option for him going forward. I know from talking to Hergovic personally, Her Hergovic is ready for anybody in the world. You know, he feels like he, he, he can be anybody in the world. He's getting world-class sparring. He's already been, in, he's been doing camps with guys like Vladimir Klitschko and, and, and everybody since he's like 17. Wilder, he's about Wilder when he was 17. He's been around, he's been around the top level heavyweights for a long, long time. And I feel like under the, under the watchful eye and under the guidance of Pedro Diaz, Fight by fight, camp by camp, uh, training session by training session, he's just making improvements, and he's going to continue to show that he's one of the best fighters out there. That that maybe he is, maybe he is Vitaly Klitschko 2.0, because that's who he reminds me of when he fights Vitaly Klitschko 2.0. So you got him, you got uh, Dillian White, who I know is going to fight the vet and maybe, maybe maybe he can fight the winner of that. That that'd be a good fight. Um, you know, Joshua was out there. You know, um, there's a lot of good matchups out there for Joe Joyce, but either way you slice it, man, I think. Whether you want to admit it or not, you could say that he, 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 he's slow. You could say he's, he's not aesthetically pleasing to watch. You can say whatever you want about Joe, Joe Joyce. But one thing you can say about him now is that, 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 that he can't fight or that he's a bum. Because he showed him his fight against Dubois. Not, not only could he fight, but he can box. He can box. He can bang. He can slug. He can win a dog fight. He can win a chess match. He showed a lot in that fight to me. To me, he showed a lot in that fight. Um, people might argue and say that Daniel Dubois was too green. They might say that Daniel Dubois uh, was, all, was all these things and he was a quitter and whatnot. But guess what? He wouldn't have quit. Joe Joyce had to take him to that place. And he and, and Daniel Dubois wouldn't quit if Joe Joyce didn't give him a reason to quit. And, you know, Joe Joyce putting that jab on him. He was putting that jab on him over and over again. Just throwing that jab, you know, stabbing him with the jab, touching him with the jab, stepping him with the jab. He showed a lot of dimensions in that fight. And um, I'm just really proud of the guy for what he did and, and, and impressed by what he did and I, I, I respect what he did a lot you know so um, you know I think I think if he's able to win like another step, step up fight let's say he fights a Dillian White or a Povetkin or a Parker let, let, let's just say Joe's Joyce beats a Joseph Parker or something like that then I think you know a fight that I think he would he, he would have a great chance of winning is the Anthony Joshua fight I, I think he'd have I give him a great chance of winning the Joshua fight based on what I saw against Dubois and based on what I've seen to get, uh, uh, with him against Jennings as well and, and, and other fights of his, you know, because I think the one thing he has that you can't teach is a granite chin. He's got a great granite chin. Um, he knows how to roll shots. He knows how to make sure that even if you land, land on, the, on, on the cheek or the chin, that he's, he, he rolls the punch just enough to where you're not going to knock him spark out. So, you know, um, Joe Joyce, he's got... What, what, um, shout out to L Dog. You know, L Dog deserves a lot of credit because L Dog, you know, he's a great subscriber of this channel, loyal watcher of these videos. He's been banging the Joe Joyce drum longer than a lot of people. And he, he was telling everybody that would listen that Joe Joyce was going to beat Daniel Dubois. So he deserves a lot, a lot of credit because he was right. And um, I'm, star I'm starting to see a guy in Joe Joyce who has the ingredients to go very, very far in the heavyweight division. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think of Joe Joyce and just where he's at? in the heavyweight ranks and you know, with his career. I'd love to get your thoughts on that. Leave your comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.